I am eight weeks today. I went to the gym for the first time this morning since before I started all of this and walked just on the treadmill at a nice slow snail's pace for about 45 minutes and I feel so good. It was just nice to just move my body but like listen to it and not overdo it. But um, it's crazy because this morning I woke up and I take pictures every like week on the week and even though I'm still like really early I just want to make sure that I have good documentation and it's fun I'm having a good time but I don't know what happened <laughs> but this happened overnight I kid you not but I like like it popped this morning or something and it's weird and I'm only eight weeks but like do you see that sorry my house is a mess I'm cleaning up from a trip we just got back from but like look at that Yes, doesn't the hand motion help too? Like, that helps it look nice and big. But it's like, what is happening? I can't even believe it. Uh, that happened overnight, I kid you not. And my mom says she always popped really early because I kind of feel like I'm only eight weeks and I shouldn't even look pregnant at eight weeks, but it happened overnight. Holy cow, I'm starting to like kind of look a little pregnant. Well, to me, that is, that's, that's big for me. Holy cow. This is still so strange. Just the strangeness of like hearing the baby's heartbeat and seeing my body change and feeling the, the symptoms, the, the tiredness, the nausea. It's so bizarre. And it is so much harder to grow a baby than I ever knew. Like, you hear about all the things, but just physically, I had no idea that I would just be, I don't know, I just didn't realize the effect it would have on me. I knew that I would have symptoms, and I, I knew what the symptoms were, but until you do it, and I'm like out of breath saying it because that's another symptom I've been having. I'm just having shortness of breath, which is a side effect of the progesterone. Which, by the way, the progesterone shots are going well. I'm over it. Definitely over getting stabbed in the butt every single night. I've got about two more weeks of that. So it won't be too bad. Um, we're kind of dumb. We figured out we were do it using the wrong needle. So you get, there's an injection needle and there's a withdrawal needle and they're different sizes. And we had it backwards. So when I went to get, pick up my prescription, like last week, cause I have to fill it like every two to three weeks. When I went to pick it up, he's like, so you're drawing with the 22 and injecting with the 18, right? Oh no, backwards. You're drawing with the 18 and injecting with the 22, right? And I was like, uh-huh. No, we have not been doing that. Which means I have been stabbing myself with a needle for over a month. The huge needle. The huge needle we have been using to stab me with. So now, to be honest, it makes the shots not so bad because I've been able to use the right needle, which is the smaller needle. I mean, it's still big, but it's not nearly as thick as the other one, the one they used to withdraw. So, actually it's not so bad anymore. But we're dumb. I mean, you live in the year learn, right? Like, no one ever told me. It's not labeled. No one ever told me. I never asked. I should have asked, but I just assumed that the one, because then we have one little needle that comes separate and then a needle that comes in the package with the vial. Vial? Syringe, syringe. And I assumed that the one that came with the syringe was the one you were supposed to use first. And now I can see how that would be wrong. But at the time, <laughs> anyway, long story short, injections are going better than they were. I'm not quite as bruised on my butt anymore, but two more weeks and that will be over and two more weeks till my next ultrasound and I'm counting down the days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. I'm eight weeks in one day, but we're gonna try this anyway. 
Because my grid online that you can use aloe vera, which we do have, because I got a really bad sunburn a few days ago. Get over here and do it! I'm right here. I thought you were doing it. Where do you even put it? Where the baby is. That's I don't what know it where says. the baby is. I don't know either. That's the problem. It's down there. Where did he do it last time? Maybe we need to Google this. No, it's not there. I don't know. Are you crazy? No, I don't know. I've never done this before. No, that's definitely not very good. Why do you think it's like off to the side? Because I think that's where he was doing it. Just be quiet for a second, okay? Okay. Oh, it died. <laughs> it died? I thought it said the battery was full. How did it just turn off? Hold it down. Oh. That must be your own. That's my heart rate, which is 99 right now. I have no idea where to put this thing. Whoa. It's definitely my heart rate. Right below the belly button. I'm watching a video. I need more gel. Whoa. Not even right below the belly button. Yeah, that's where this is. Yeah. Further down, though. Okay. I mean, I can only pull my pants down so far. Well, turn off the video. You said liberal amount. I'm pushing so hard. I think our baby's too small. I think it's too small still. Yeah. Fail. I need paper towel. Okay.